how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another edition of American Picker Man. This is Season 2, Episode 11. Uh, not as many sales as I would have liked this weekend due to the holiday, but did get a few things. Got a whole lot of books. Uh, picked up a whole bunch of science fantasy books. Uh, got uh, 26 of the Dragonlance series. 26 books of those, and 1 through 13 of the Lone Wolf series where you choose your own adventure used to read this type of thing. It's kind of cool. Not sure exactly what they're going to go for, but only paid $5 for, you know, like 40 bucks. So, pretty good deal. Uh, another good set I got was the Will Durant History of Civilization. This is just one of the books, not the whole set. It's an 11 book set. This is uh, like the fourth time I've had these. Uh, paid $5 for the whole set. This will probably go for 30 or $40. Uh, if the dust jackets were a little better, they'd go for a little bit more. Uh, what else here? I picked up this worthless piece of important thing. Uh, the fortune teller. It kind of looks like it's maybe like a little Ouija board or something. A little magnetic booklet. Uh, paid 50 cents for that and I'll just put that right there. Uh, I couldn't find anything on these guys. Uh, you know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Stick with the books for now. Let's get those out of the way. Picked up a 1967 Boy Scout field guide for 50 cents. That'll probably go for five or ten. I thought it'd be a little better than that. Uh, Sterling Castle, nothing much there. Uh, Cash Lake County, nothing much there. But they were all 50 cents a piece, so not a huge investment. Uh, this one, Harper's Magazine. This is from 1886. It's a collection of June through July or something of 1886. Harper's Magazine, June to November, 1886. So it's a nice old book, uh, paid 50 cents for it, and probably get 10 or 15 for it. Getting stuck with a lot of books early in the season, I'm not liking that too much. Uh, and I wish this one was in better shape, Don't Die Always. Uh, this is the uh, Last Journals of David Livingstone from Stanley Livingston, 1875 edition, but as you can see it's pretty beat up, but there, there aren't a whole lot of them out there. so. Uh, I might get 10 bucks for it. We'll, we'll hope for that anyway. Okay, and that's it for the books. Heather, I want to thank you, kinda, for getting me buying coffee mugs. I did get some nice far sides for 50 cents a piece. Uh, the uh, Why Dinosaurs Became extinct, extinct is a good one, as is the Crisis Clinic. Picked up a few other ones, but they're not nearly as good. 50 cents a piece, might get 5 or 10 on those. I just hope they sell. I got a feeling my coffee cups are going to start piling up like my books. But what won't pile up is the WWF tracing plates from 1991, I think it was. Yep, 1991. Uh, very cool. You can, you know, take a crayon and rub it sideways and make your little matches. You know, it's the you've seen it. You had it as a kid. And I was kind of hoping, in a morbid way, that Randy Savage was in there. Sorry, Randy, did like you. But uh, you know, it's got all the little plates where you make your little drawings. Scratch a crayon over a piece of paper on top of that. Uh, I paid a dollar for it and none have sold in the US lately but a, one out of the UK sold for $31. So I paid a dollar for that and that makes that a good find. Um, sorry, disappearing again. Oh, found a couple more books. American Etchers, Albert Huddy. Paid 50 cents for that of course. 50 cents for the Colliers, 1917. This is from 1929. Uh, maybe 10, 15, maybe 15, 20. Also picked up an HP iPack RX 1950 little palm computer. Very cool. Uh, I only paid two dollars for it. Didn't have a clue as to what it was going to go for, but it works great. It's got all the uh, accessories, and they go for around fifty dollars or more. So stoked about that. Um, not sure about these guys here. Pennzoil racing jacket. It says Bonnie on the front. It's a nice looking jacket. A couple of little, little chunks of garbage on there, but uh, not really too bad. Uh, paid two dollars for it. Couldn't find anything like it. I don't know who Bonnie is, except that her, perhaps her last name is Richard. Richard Bonnie, Bonnie Richard. I don't know. This is a cool Holly. Uh, racing jacket, six second pro stock club, uh, looks like an NHRA, uh, you know, drag racing, but I couldn't find anything on Bonnie Richard 
at all, or Richard Bunny that had to do with racing. So if you know anything about Bunny or Richard Bunny, let me know. Nice jackets and racing jackets should sell. So um, got a couple more things and then that's it. Uh, this was pretty neat find for two dollars. It's a kaleidoscope and unfortunately I can only show you, you know, the kaleidoscope. I can let you look in there, but you know, it looks like somebody put trash in there. But it's from a guy named designed by Trova. It's from the 70s and apparently pretty popular little item. Not many of them out there and should go for 20 to 30 dollars. And the best find of the week was a marbles hunting knife. It's a 10 inch with about a 6 inch or 5 and 3 quarter inch blade. Not in perfect condition as you can see, but it's a nice knife and they go for around $50. Uh, but I couldn't find one that had a pommel exactly like that, so maybe that makes this extremely rare and worth thousands and thousands of dollars. That's what I'm hoping for. I'll settle for 100 Make your offer today. Um, that's it. Sorry. Not a great week, not too exciting, and uh, there you have it. Another week shot, gone, and we're into June now, and the weather's picking up, so I'm hoping next week will be a lot better. Uh, take care. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for updates on a few things that sold last week. That dog did awesome. See you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.